Hi Raj, good to see you bro. Hello Jason, my Christian brother. And hello to the Christian brothers and sisters of uh, the UK. I hope you're going church. <laughs> yeah, I'm bro. filling them up again because I'm always upset when I walk past the church in my local area and there's like five people in there. Uh, it's, a, it's a sad situation. I hope the UK kind of reg regains its Christianity with Jason and Bob the Builder and everyone. I think that's what's going to um, get the UK back to being great again, hopefully. Amen bro, amen. <coughs> Raj, you, you, you've been coming to Hyde Park for how long? Uh, seven months. And, uh, and how do you think things have, have moved on in Hyde Park the last seven months? I think since, uh, obviously when I first came it was uh, just like an open air mosque. He was outnumbered by like maybe 100 to 1 sometimes, it felt like that. But now because of Tommy Robinson coming down, whether you like him, I like him. And I, he's not a racist, I've met him and I've spent around five hours with him. He's a decent guy. Just has issues that I have issues with like grooming and radicalism and Islam in terms of its intolerance to other faiths and uh, since he's come down I think he's um, balanced out the park more so there's more of an eclectic mix of people. So you have myself, Sikhs, you've got vegans, you've now got, you know, people that are for um, virtuality just over there, circumcision and stuff like that. So, and there's more Christians as well, I think. So it's balanced out apart for the better. And what, what, have, you, have you any idea what the Christian message is like, what the gospel is, what we Christians preach about Jesus? Yeah, I mean, obviously most people know about Christianity through um, it's a Christian country so you pick up things I do know more about Catholicism than I do uh, Protestantism or um, what you call the I'm not sure if you're evangelical or what, what denomination so I know a bit more about that um, no offence to Catholics I do have my issues with Catholicism which is why I researched it and I think it's I don't want to say anything I'll talk another day about that but the Christian that I see that come into the park and um, the message they're giving to me is one of love. Uh, Jesus is a message of compassion and love. Uh, I may not agree with everything Christianity uh, or the Christian believes, but I do believe that Jesus came down to change mankind for the better. And uh, with, it, with the other religions like Islam, I can't say the same thing. <laughs> I think they're two different, two different people. Uh, delivering two different messages. Um, what, what do you think about <coughs> Jesus claiming to be the Son of God when he says, I'm the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. And also, his mission when he believed that he came to die for the sin of the world, where it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So what do you think about these two things, that Jesus claims to be the Son of God and that he came to die for our sin? Um, you know, for me, it's a beautiful message. You know, that Son, uh, God sent His, well, it's Himself, but like, in human form, and his, his Son, and He sacrificed Himself for humanity. Um, obviously, if I, if I believed in everything, I'd be a Christian. So I have my own beliefs, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate the beauty in Christianity and what you're propagating. And so I will support the Christ Christian faith. Um, especially the Protestant faith, that particular side, no offence to Catholics, but I do have my problems on that side, um, for what Jesus stands for. Now, obviously, you know, um, if I believed entirely in Jesus and Christianity, I would be a Christian. But I'm not, I'm a Sikh, I've got my own beliefs, but I don't think that kind of interferes with your belief. I think we can coexist, and we'll find out when we go to heaven, hopefully we're both right. We'll see what happens, and we'll uh, live happy ever to, happily after up, up in heaven, but we'll see. Okay, thanks for Anyway, us. Jason, thanks, thanks for asking the question. Great, and another thing is, uh, I like the fact that the Christian brothers are coming down, and I always say that you need the, the Sikhs, one thing the Sikhs have is an ethos of warrior saint. You cannot just be a saint, and you cannot just be a warrior. If you're just a saint, you're going to be a pushover. If you're just a warrior, you're just going to be a, a brute. And so we have a balance called the warrior saint ethos, which is what Christians used to be. Um, you can propagate your faith, but don't get slapped about and get pushed about. I'm not talking about physically uh, getting pushed about, I'm talking about mentally. And uh, I found in the beginning when I come down, people were getting mentally pushed about, and sometimes physically. But I think now with Bob and Jason and everybody else, I think they've found their warrior saint again. Maybe maybe he's hanging around with Sikhs. We'll see, man. God bless you, bro. Anyway, Jason. Thank you, mate.